Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange. And today uh, we open slightly better than what SGX Nifty indicated. We open above 16,000, but within few minutes the market started selling off and uh, nobody knows what is happening. So I was just telling my friend since US market has fallen so much yesterday and today if our market has to fall the banking stocks will have to fall and exactly as expected and market started falling uh, the bank Nifty was the one hugely underperformed today because for the last two days they have been outperforming. And one of the reasons quoted, I did not check actually properly, uh, there was a very bad result from Punjab National Bank. So because of that, all the POC banks have sold into and Punjab National Bank went into a lower circuit in the morning that has created more panic and the State Bank of India sold off. Then again, all other banks also started selling. Even yesterday, ICC Bank ADR was down by 1%. So ICC Bank also started falling. Then everything was falling. It was a complete mayhem. And uh, today, uh, Nifty touched a low of 15,735. And if you can remember that because of Russian war, Russian-Ukraine war, uh, markets came down. And on 8th of March, Nifty touched a low of 15,671. And today we went almost 50 point nearer to that point. And then as usual, domestic institution would have uh, stepped up some buying towards the end of the day. So Nifty has recovered about 100 point. But, and see, on 8th of March, Nifty going to 15,700. From there, it's going to 18,200. Again, from 18,200 to 15,700. And all happened in just in a matter of two months. From 8th of March to today is the 12th of May. It's just about two months time. In two months, no, Nifty can go up 2000 point, can come down 2000 point. This is just a crazy market. This is just only a trading market. And I've been telling you uh, since the beginning of this year, this calendar year is going to be only for traders and not for investors. Markets are not going to go anywhere. But again, traders also, how the traders can do, you know, one day gap up 200 point, next day gap down 200 point, next day gap up 300 point. And you know, market open, then immediately sold off, market open, immediately shoot up. So even traders are also not uh, making money. So this market is just too difficult to handle. And though, US markets were volatile, but on a close to close basis, last two weeks they did not fall much, hardly 1%, 2%. But look at our market. In the May series, the first trading day, Nifty was at 17,400. I still remember exactly at 2 p.m. on first trading day, that was the 29th April, at 2 p.m. Nifty future was 17,400. And from there until today, we just had only 9 trading sessions. In this 9 trading session, from 17,400, we have come to 15,700. So that is almost 1,600 point. That is nearly 10%. Just in 9 trading session, we have fallen nearly 9%, 10%. And that's, that's an, almost every day 200 point. So, this is just, as I said, you know, it's really very crazy. And FIAs are all out to sell this market. And no matter what happens, no good news go is going to stop them. They are going to sell every day. And today they have sold for 5,255 crores. That's more than 5,000 crore. In just nine trading sessions in the May series, they have sold for 32,000 crore. In just two weeks, 32,000 crore, I don't think that uh, this uh, kind of selling happened in any two weeks period. 
probably that uh, coronavirus the march 2020 probably it might have happened so if you but then that was the entire world was in panic so except that i don't think that there is any other two week period where fas have sold 32000 crore and they are going to sell they are going to sell more so uh during our market time itself you know and everything you know was looking bad us futures were lower european markets are lower the global queues are very bad and then there was a fear of our inflation data also and uh, after our market close the inflation data came at 7.79% which is higher than expected so i expected i think about uh, 7.45 or something like that it's uh, higher than expected inflation iip data came which is lower than expected so less growth more inflation you know again we will be going back to the expectation of uh, uh, interest rate hike in rbi etc etc so uh, both us markets and indian markets uh, seems to be under capitulation period and bluest of blue chip stocks are falling hdfc and hdfc bank were looking so strong for the last few days and today both of them have been hammered and hdfc has fallen and nearly 70 rupees from intraday high so everything is selling off and uh, this market has become too difficult for for us to trade and uh, i have never taken any short position usually i manage everything through options only but this is the first time i had to take some short positions to manage my positions so uh what is very important the swing low the swing low is 15671 and today we went very close to that we have recovered but i don't know what is going to happen tomorrow and then tomorrow if you can remember the friday after 2 pm only the huge selling happens we are saturday sunday people don't want to carry positions so tomorrow if that low is broken i think there will be more panic and then you know the hope is very very little the next support will be only around 15000 only so let us hope that uh, us markets recover to some extent uh, tonight so that it can so you know at the end of the day uh, no matter what happens the people always follow the us markets so if us markets uh, close better uh, we may consolidate or may move a little bit higher but that hope is very very little and why the main reason us markets for the last 3 days falling and indian markets last 3 days falling and both are same but what is a big difference us markets all 3 days fell but all 3 days the us wicks came down and indian market all 3 days markets fell in all 3 days india wicks shot up and today in fact uh, india wicks shot up more than 10% so the fear is extremely high the far out of the only options are trading at a crazy prices so uh, anyway the rest of the things we will see tomorrow morning hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching